Oh, and coming. Oh, up. V. You get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bile mine. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Okay. Check your email. Optional. Messages. All right, Mega Medicine Lottery. Buy two tickets, get the third free. Thousands of prizes available. Sure. Uh, warning, scam alert. Do not click any emails with ads from a... <laughs> okay, uh, alert, you've been hacked. Malware detected. Your computer has been attacked by three demons. And auto fixer. Ooh, buying vehicles. On the Auto Fixer net page, you'll find all vehicles currently up for sale. You can access this net page from the computer in your apartment or from the computer throughout Night City, marked with a car icon. A vehicle's picture may display an icon to indicate that it comes equipped with a built in weapon. For machine gun, for. Ooh, machine guns or missile launchers. Hmm. As your street cred grows, so will the number of vehicles available to you on Autofixer. Cool. Let's go. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? I'd even know my name. I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Enjoying the weather? Wait. Average temperatures this month in Night City have remained within human safety levels. Where the hell do you want me to go? Down. Thank you. Did you know last night cyberware damaged your nervous system? Make sure your are um. always Hello. Isn't there an elevator? Am I losing? I think I'm losing it. My new punching bag just gave me a next gen ass whooping. <laughs> Curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so, how about it? Sure, why not? Let's do this. Light on your feet, keep that head moving. Fist fights your fists can be dangerous weapons. In fist fights, you can use them to both strike your enemies and block their attacks. What do you say? Ooh. 
What do you got on sale? Oh, no. oh about these fights. You mentioned something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Hmm. Sounds fair. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. Hmm. Okay. Um, hold up. Uh, do -do -do, journal. We are doing that one. First after every shot. This has been your world report. Thank you for tuning in to N54 News. Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Hmm. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, Cyber Psycho. I enjoy the Matsuri Festival. We usually try to go every year. Alright, and CPD Scanner. Hustles, the NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. And fixers, these intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Interesting. What's up, homie? Man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Well, what's this guy serving? Hold up. Before we sit down, I need to inspect this. Let's see here. We got some steam. Steam buns. I don't know. Hmm. That sushi looks kind of like ramen, some noodle dish. Has he just got that walk over, over oil? <laughs> okay. He's got to walk just over, over a deep fryer. Whatever. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. What's the job exactly? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. 
Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. Oh, oh really? No. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. I brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active wheel go to your current location with V. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Yeah, let's go. Let's feel this factory new ride. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. Hmm. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Now there, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. But you are not the masters of your memories, for your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... Oh, no. Not only to you. <laughs> hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Okay. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Cause I am. Always. Makes for easier living. <laughs> Ripper Dog. Though a common practice cyberware installations is a dangerous and invasive procedure which can only be preferred by qualified specialists. Ripper Docs. There are several Ripper Docs operating throughout Night City who offer a variety of different cyberware upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Um. Sure. Heard of Dexter Deshaw? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Hmm. Need some new kit. 
but tools, not toys, Vic. Tama bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Hmm. Uh. Do I have that money? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I'll pay you when the job's done. Quit uh, crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Okay. Um... Available items. Face everywhere improves your vision and allows you to highlight environmental clues. Yes, please. All right. And hands. Ballistic core processor. Increased ricochet chance with power weapons. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system offering real-time weapon info. Subdermal armor plus two health. Okay. Upgrade to tier one. Can we do that? All right. Um. Quick hack. Oh, okay. So we can only have... We can only have five more cyberware worth of stuff. And I ain't got no money. But we can upgrade that. Okay, interesting. Operating system. Ooh. All right, yeah, this is going to take us a minute. Interesting, interesting. Okay, um, I think Frontal Cortex had one thing I could do. Electronic cord. Mmm. I just want a ram. Explosion damage. No. I think. I think that's it. I really. Yeah. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. 
Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Oof. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got hmm. a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Ah. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. How's it look? Feel all right to you? Um, that's it. Seen more dramatic improvements before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Scanning people, scanning people with your optical cyberwork, can provide you with a lot of useful information, such as how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapons they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks with which you can use against your enemies. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Okay. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Database of wanted persons. A database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with the, your scanner. Since all are wanted, dead, or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward are entirely up to you. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Okay. Thanks, Vic. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. All right, let's do this. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Not only to you. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tech hits the scene. 
But remember, you're not going to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Incapacitating enemies are various ways to incapacitate enemies without killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and some combo gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. If, if a given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage, it will be mentioned in the description. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Hmm. Is some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Okay. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Hmm. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush-hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Klein who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Klein. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> Anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. 
and we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Okay, street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to bah, build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Hmm. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So... How you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. Well, let's go with the clan. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stay around. Hasta luego. 